you might be right. Let's find out. You're right. It's a chimpanzee. A chimpanzee. Another kind of monkey. That's right. Now, chimpanzees live in what they call troops. And they like to hug and kiss each other. Ah. And you know how long a chimpanzee can ah. live? 50 years of age. Now, let's push the next button and see what this animal is. I'm pushing green. You ready? Monkey. You think it's a monkey? monkey. You think it's a monkey? Let's find out if you're right. Nope. It's a hyena. And this is a, a family of hyenas. And they like to eat zebras. And what and, else can I and, tell you about? And I think they like to eat lions. Well, they sometimes will fight with the lions, you know, but that's yeah, the idea. Uh, so are you taking yeah, one? Sure, thank you. Now let's look at the, what color is this? Purple. Purple. All right, let's push the purple and see. I'm a really big cat, and some people call me king of the beasts. Who am I? A lion. You're right. You're absolutely right. There's a lion. There's a lion. Okay. That was an interesting sound. Now, what color is that? Green. All right, let's push the green button. You ready? Mm. That's interesting. What do you think? What do you think? Take a guess. Okay, you don't have to guess. I'm going to... That's not a donkey. It is a... Chimpanzee. No, no, it's a baboon. A baboon. That's what they sound like. And that's what they look like. And when you, if you ever go to the zoo, I saw them. you can see baboons in the zoo. We have uh, baboons in the zoo. Uh -uh. Okay, now the next animal, what's this animal? I fly high in the air, always looking down for a tasty meat to eat. Uh, what might I be? A big bird that eats meat. Let's look. Let's hear the sound. It's a hard one. Look, a vulture. They're the scavengers. They eat, after the animals have died, they clean up the, the ground so that other animals don't get sick. So they serve, they're like the sanitation department. They clean up the garbage. Now, this is yellow, right? I run with the herd for miles and miles, but all you see are stripes lying by. Uh, it's a helicopter. Again? No, it's not a helicopter. No, You're it's a right. Helicopter oh, out there. there. Well, thank you for sharing that with me. <laughs> That's a zebra. Zebra! I was right. You were right. And you know what? Zebra is very interesting. No two zebras have the same stripes, all different stripes. So that's why you have fingerprints on your hand. Your fingerprints are different from yours that's and yours the last and yours. One. And the last one, the pink one is, I'm big and heavy, and I love to spend all day swimming in the river. A hippo! A uh, hippo, you might be right. Hippo! Let's, just a minute. Let's see if you're right. Hippo! You're hippo. right, I have a hippo. Good for you, good for you. Okay, now let's see, what do we got in here that I think you would like? But you're an older group, so i got to give you some things that are in. Oh, I know. Just a minute. How many of you think Joseph had a little overcoat? You ever hear the story about Joseph and his overcoat? Okay. Yeah. Once upon a time, how all stories start. There was this man named Joseph, and here he is. Here's Joseph. And he had a little overcoat that was old and worn. It was falling apart. And Joseph... So his friends, the turkey and the duck and the cat, said, Joseph, why don't you go to the store and buy a new overcoat? He says, I'm not buying a new overcoat. I'm going to make something out of this. So you know what he made out of this old overcoat? He made a vest. And he went to the to visit his relatives, and they said, Joseph, that's a beautiful, beautiful vest. He says, I made it myself. Well, it got old and worn, and there it is. And his friend, the cow, and who else is in this picture? I guess it's the cow. Do you see anybody else in that picture? It's like the cow. Food. 
brought some food, but food doesn't talk. So the cow said to Joseph, Joseph, look at that vest. It's old, it's smelly, it's falling apart. Go to a store and buy a new vest. He said, no, no. I'm going to make something out of it. What can you make out of it? He says, turn the page, Uncle Saul, and you'll see. And look, he made a little, little vest right over there. And he went to a wedding, and everybody said, that's a beautiful vest. And Joseph said, I made it myself. And then he wore it, wore it, wore it, and he didn't take it off. And look, it got old and worn, it began to fall apart. And again, his friend here is a rabbi, and also we have, what else do we have here? Uh, that's all, and the cat. He said, Joseph, that vest is old. Throw it away, buy a new one. He says, oh no, I'm going to make something out of it. What could you make out of that? So you know what he did? He made a scarf. See the scarf? And he wore it, and he wore it, and he wore it. And look what happened. Everybody loved this scarf. He said it's a beautiful scarf. But it got so old. See, right over there. It got old. He had the, the horse, the cow, the chicken, the cat, the dog, the duck, and his little mouse up over here. And the owl all looked at the vest and at the scarf and said, it's falling apart. It's dirty. You don't want it. Throw it away. Buy a new scarf. He said, oh, go away. What are you silly? I'm going to make something out of it. What could you make out of it? Well, he made a toy. Made a toy. See that? And look what happens. Everybody who saw that toy said it's a beautiful toy. Beautiful toy. Well, he wore the toy. And look. And he made something out of the toy because it got old and worn. See that? And the horse and the duck and the, oh, and the little man on the roof and the cat. And the chicken and that dog said, get rid of that toy. Make something out of it. No, I'm not going to make something. And look what he made. He made a little scarf around his neck. And he loved the scarf. And then, that got old in the morning. His friend, the chicken, the cat, and the dog said, get rid of it. I can look at it. Look at that scarf. It's falling apart. I'm going to make something out of it. What can you make out of it? So he made a button to hold up his pants. And one day, he lost the button. And they're looking for the button, and they couldn't find the button. And you know what he made it? And then, when we turned the page, he had nothing. He had nothing. But Joseph made something out of nothing. You want to know what he made out of nothing? I'll show you. That's right. He made this book so I could read it to you. So now you know that you can make something out of nothing. And that's the end of that school. Now, the other class is ready or what? Um, or I can I read again. Just, they're just getting ready. So if you have, like, I can read another one. This is ready. called, I want to see if you're small. And then I guess they'll be ready after that. Yeah, they should be. Whatever. This is called One Red Dot. Now I want to see if you can find the red dot. Okay? You gotta look because it's not that easy. Can you, not, not, not Can you sit up? Thank you. This is one perplexing puzzle box and one red dot. Now show me if you can see the red dot. I'm gonna keep turning the book around. And when you see a red dot, say, I see it, I see it. Anybody see a red dot? I see it. Right there. See that little red dot? They go till two. Okay. Oh, till two. Well, then. They're shorter. They won't hit pictures. So, I can keep reading? Yes, Let they are from um, <laughs> 130 to 2, and the next group is two to, oh. by 220. Yeah. Oh, okay, so I've got another 15 minutes. Yes. No, I thought this was a little... Oh, no, good. No, no. I got some great we'll books for you. We'll go to the court right. for you. They now, this is two, it. Yeah. two yeah. twisting, twirly gigs. Can you see it? Can you see it? Where, where? That's right, you got it. All right. Try not to touch it because you made a paper. It'll fall apart. Now, what number comes after two? Three. Three. Okay. Now, this is one of my favorites. This is called Three Burning Baskets and One Red Dot. Anybody see a red dot anywhere? Let's look. Oh, there it is. You're right. There it is, right there. Right there. See it? You see the red dot? No. Where is it? Well, I'm pointing to it right there. It's hard to see. It's hard to see. see that? Okay. 
Now we have the three comes four, right? Now this is four flip flop flats. I see it. Great, you didn't, I didn't show it to you yet. No, no, not this. That's fine. Get over here. Watch. Four flip flop flats. And one more I see it. There it is. Right, right there. Okay. And this is called five wiggly. I, no, no, don't come closer. Just sit there. Sit right there. Five wiggly wobbly widgets. There it is. You see it? Good. Well, so far, you've been really very smart. Yeah. Okay. Now, we have to, what number comes after five? Six. Six. Okay. Now, this is called six fluttering flicker clickers. That's what it is. Can you say that? Six fluttering flicker clickers and one red dot. See it? There it is. That's right. There it is. Let's do that again. Six fluttering clicker clickers and one red dot. Good. Now what number comes here for six? Seven. Let's see what we got here. Seven bouncing blue spots and one red dot. Where? There. No, 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 don't touch it. Don't touch it. Yeah. What happens is this is made of paper. And if everybody touches it, it's going to fall apart and then I can't read the story again. So just look at it and point to it. Now, after seven, sit. Tushy's on the floor. Eight. After seven comes eight. eight. Now, eight obedient orbs. See you see it? I see it. There it is. Very right good. Here. Right there. Yeah, right there. Thank you. And one red dot. Now, an orb is another word for circle. I just like a circle. Okay. Now, after eight comes eleven, right? No, nine. No. You're right, you're right. This is nine nimble nines and one red dot. You see it? You see it? There it is. Okay. And what comes after nine? Right. Now this is hard to find. This is called ten curling curling cues and one red dot. No, you don't. Now wait, wait, wait. I'll show you. Look underneath. See underneath? I see yeah, right there, right there. Okay, you see it? Right underneath? Right over there, right? Right there. You see it? I didn't see it. Come on up closer, because this is hard to find. Wait, wait, let my friend see it. Show him where it is. It's right underneath there. There, no, 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 right there. See it? There it is. See? Okay. Boy, you guys are terrific. All right. Oh, well, let me read you this. This is called Mr. Seahorse. Mr. Seahorse. Now, in the ocean, children, there are many, many fish. Young man, yo, listen. There, there are fish, daddy fish, that take care of the babies. In most of the animal world, the mommies take care of the babies. But there are times when daddies in the fish world in the ocean, take care of the baby. And this is a story called Mr. Sea Horse, who is a daddy who watches the children. And there are other fish that do it. And every fish in this book is a real fish, and they take care of the little teeny weeny eggs that grow into fish. So I'm going to tell you the story. Once upon a time, there was this mommy fish and his daddy fish. And mommy wanted to go to the store to, you know, to buy some food. She says, would you watch the babies while I sort of swim away and look for some food? And he says, okay. So that's what they, they bump tummies like that, and the mommy, from the mommy's tummy into the daddy's tummy, went to fish. And he's now swimming along, he's swimming along, and he passes a group of trumpet fish. Now, in the ocean, there are fish called trumpet fish that hide behind the weeds. Now, right now, you really can't see them. But when I turn the page I like this, look, there they are. I saw their fins. Right, that's, yeah, that's trumpet fish, and they're hiding behind the weeds. And he swims along, and he sees another, wait a minute, I skipped the page. Let's find it. Oh, he sees another fish called stickleback. This is a stickleback fish, and he carries the fish eggs on his back. And he's a real fish. And wherever he goes, the baby fish are tied to him. And the baby fish are in the seahorse's tummy. And they say, hello there, Mr. Stickleback. And he says, how are you? I'm fine. A giant so you're doing a very good job watching the babies. And he says, you are too. 
And then they swim away. And Mr. Seahorse is swimming along and he comes to, this is coral, it's like rocks that grow in the I water. Can see the flag. Right. I see, I Good. see. Good. I saw two eyes. Right, and he passes a lionfish that's hiding in a coral reef. Now here yeah, you can I see them a little bit. Yeah, I, I no no no, don't come up. Eyes. Sit sit down, put your tushy there. But when you move this shape, then you really see it. That's a lionfish. I saw, I saw his eyes. Right. See that? That's a lionfish. And they hide behind these rocks so the big fish don't eat them. And he swims along and he meets another fish. Now this fish is called tilapia. Now that's a fish that sometimes you go to the market or you go to a uh, restaurant and you can say, can I have a tilapia? And that's the fish that they eat. But this fish carries the eggs in his mouth. Alligators. And he doesn't swallow them. He doesn't swallow them. And alligators do that too. Yes. Uh, you sure? I didn't know that, but, not, but thank you for telling me. Very good. I read it in the book. Good. I'm, I, I'm glad you told me. And Mr. Tilapia is carrying the eggs. And they say, boy, you're doing a good job as a daddy. And he says, thank you, you are too. And Mr. Seahorse swims along, and he passes some leaf fish that are hiding in the seaweed. Now, you can just about see them, but when I turn this like this, that's what they look like. Leaf, they look like leaves. They're called leaf fish. It's leaf. Yeah. They blend in. They do blend in. That's called that's camouflage. That's called Now, Mr. Seahorse is swimming along and he sees a Curtis fish. He says, how are you, Mr. Curtis? And he says, I'm fine. And how are you, Mr. Seahorse? He says, I'm I fine. I see the eyes on his head. Right. They're glued to the top of his head, not in his mouth. He's, and he's upside down right now. Now he's right side up. And they say, boy, you are a great, great, you know, watcher of eggs. And he says, you are too. You're doing a good job. And Mr. Seahorse swims along, and he passes a stonefish that's hiding behind a rock. I see Do you see it? Fish. Now, let's turn it. You'll see I, it better. I, that's I, saw, right. I saw a... T you I saw, saw the eyes? A, I saw an eye, and I saw right the fin. There. Right, and there's a the fin. Very saw, good. And I also saw... Well, you're a good looker. And then they pass a fish called a pipe fish. Now, this is a pipe fish. Hey, hey, I, I was thinking about of all oh, different sea creatures. Oh. And I have one of those. Oh, that? I see the eggs oh, on his good. tummy. That's right. It's right along his tummy. Yeah. He's called a pipe fish. And they yeah. congratulate each other. Well, you're like a good pipe. Right. Then they pass another fish called a bullhead fish. And all the fishes are swimming around this fish. And they say, you're doing a good job. He says, well, thank you. You're doing a good job also. And finally, look what happens. The time has come for the seahorse babies to be born. Mr. Seahorse wiggled and twisted this way and that. And at last, the babies tumbled out of Mr. Seahorse's pouch and swam away. Now, before they swam away, they said, Daddy Seahorse, thank you very much for taking care of us. And we will see you when we come back. And they go to Lulu, and they swam away to eat some food. Okay. But, but other fish might eat the seahorse. Sometimes they do that. Sometimes they really do that. But yeah, some fish eat. I got another one. Wait a minute. Don't go away. This is the last book for this group. So. Oh, okay. Uh, Oh, here, this is a quickie. This is called, it's ten little, well, where is it? It's ten, ten little, little rubber ducks. Right? Okay. Shh, quiet. Be quiet. Okay. Here we go. This is a story about, this is a machine that makes yellow ducks. And after the machine came to ducks and this woman is painting the nose is red, and the man is painting the nose, the eyes blue. And they put it in a box, put ten of these in a box there, and they put it on a truck. And the truck drives along, goes to the ocean, and puts it on a ship. See that? And it's going to, what section of Brooklyn is this? Do you know? New York. New York. Brooklyn, New York. That's right. The boat's coming to Brooklyn, New York, to a toy store down the street, 
so that you could buy the rubber ducks. Anyway, here's the boat, sun is shining, it's quiet, and it starts to get very, very rough in the ocean, and the boat is going up and down, and one of the boxes falls off. One of them, just one, and plop, splits open, and there's ten rubber ducks floating in the ocean. Ten of them. Well, the first rubber duck saw a dolphin. The second rubber duck saw a, what's that? Seal. A seal. And this over here? Rainbow. Right. So he saw a seal and a rainbow. The third rubber duck saw? A polar bear. And what did the fourth rubber duck see? A rainbow. Right. What a color rainbow. is it? Pink. Pink. Boy, you know your colors. You're terrific. And the fifth rubber duck saw, this is called a pelican. Pelican. And he's eating a fish. And the sixth rubber duck saw? Turtle. Turtle. What color? Green. Okay. And the sixth rub, the seventh rubber duck saw an octopus. You know how many hands he's got? Let's count. I'm a seagull. Eight. One, you're right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All octopuses have eight hands. Size and then she, the eighth one saw a seagull. The ninth one saw a blue whale, which is the biggest animal in the ocean. And the tenth one was all by himself. He says, where's everybody? And along comes a duck with nine baby ducks. She said, would you like to come into the family? And he says, yes. And they follow mommy, like that. And they eat supper, and then the moon says, good night. And the mommy duck says, quack. And the baby duck says, quack. But you know what the little duck said? I want, I need your help. Oh, I'm going to show you. This is what the baby rubber duck sounds like. Push that black button. Push it. Oh, boy. Would you want to make it sound? Push that button. Push that button. Push. You got it. That's what he sounds like. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that is wow. You want to push it? Wait, go ahead. You got it. You got it. There we go. Go ahead. Okay. All right, children. Thank you very okay, much. Okay, Next week, I'll see you again, and I'll read some old no, stories no, and new stories. So I'm going to be back. What? Not quite yet. Did you guys give Saul your hats? Oh, yeah, yeah. Not to keep. We put yeah. them on when put he them. comes. Right. And we take them off when he goes. Okay? You're not going to be here next week? Well, I'm going to miss you. Well, they're in and out of oh, okay. it. Oh, And we have a very small enrollment today because a lot of people what left their oh, We're going out oh, of the courtyard. Let's go. Go to chop boy. Okay, so go run around. You're chop boy today. Let's go. Okay, now go there. Chop boy. These are three. Come on, close. I want you to get really close. My name is Uncle Saul. I tell stories, and I have all kinds of hats, and I was wondering if you would like to wear a hat, if you'd like. If you don't want to wear a hat, you don't have to. Would you like to wear a hat? Yeah. Well, we got, I got a dinosaur hat. I got a, a butterfly. All right. You want the dinosaur? Who wants the dinosaur? You got it. What would you like? I mean, I got all kinds of hats here. I got a duck. I got an elephant with a pink nose. You want another one with a pink nose? No? No one. All right. I got a tiger. No? All right. Tell you what. If you change your mind and you'd like to wear a hat, any one you want. I got an eagle. Look at that. I get a butterfly, ooh, ha. You want a pink butterfly or a blue butterfly? Okay. And this is a pumpkin. A pumpkin. Okay. A okay. Now, let's see what we got. Oh, I got a story for you. I did. I enjoyed the pumpkin. Now, this is a book about numbers. It's called a pop up book. Now, this is number one. That's number one. What is this? A frog, that's right. That's a frog. That's one frog. This is two. Now, these are birds called toucans. Two birds. 
is two toucans. Now over here, this is three, and we have three insects. One, two, three. Now this is four, number four. And look, what do we see? Chair. And what's sitting on the chair? Cats. Cats. We got four chairs and four cats. One, two, three, four, and four cats. Now, after four, there's a number five. You're going to learn all of this as you go to school. This is five. And that, what does that look like? Seashells. Seashell. It's hard to say seashells. And this is number six. And what does that look like? Five. Right, five. six doggies. And after six doggies, there's seven, whoops, where are they? Oh, I'm missing the fish. But let's go to number eight. What's that look like? Eight, eight butterflies. Eight butterflies, right. And then after eight is number nine. Nine birds. Birds, they're called parrots. Nine, some lovely hats you have on. And this is ten, what is that? Children, ten people, that's right. Okay. You like that book? Good. Me too. All right. Now, I want to see. I want to see if I can fool you. All right. This is the name of this book is called Oh. Just play Oh. 